If you're receiving Social Security income, Social Security disability insurance, or Veterans Affairs benefits, you could be eligible for a major cash infusion. The recently passed Economic Recovery and Family Support Act includes a provision for a one-time $3,000 direct payment to millions of Americans on these programs. But there are some important details and requirements you need to understand in order to get your hands on this money. In this comprehensive video guide, we'll break down exactly who qualifies, how to claim your payment, potential tax implications, and more. Whether you're struggling to make ends meet or just want to learn more about this opportunity, you won't want to miss these critical details. Stick around as we cover everything you need to know about this $3,000 boost. As part of the Economic Recovery and Family Support Act's $1.9 trillion spending package, lawmakers approved sending direct payments of up to $3,000 to Americans receiving Social Security and VA benefits. This was done to help support seniors, the disabled, and other vulnerable groups during the ongoing economic crisis. While the $1,400 stimulus checks got most of the media attention, this more generous $3,000 payment flew somewhat under the radar. The goal is to get this money out to qualifying recipients as quickly as possible. The Biden administration has instructed the Social Security Administration and Department of Veterans Affairs to begin processing and dispersing these payments immediately. However, there are some important eligibility rules and other requirements involved. Many of the finer details are still being worked out as well. It's critical for beneficiaries to understand exactly what they need to do to receive their $3,000 boost. To be eligible for the full $3,000 direct payment under this program, you must meet the following criteria. You must be currently receiving Social Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or VA Disability Compensation, Pension, or other benefits. Your total annual income from all sources must be $75,000 or less if single $112,500 or less for heads of household or $150,000 or less for married couples filing jointly. You must not be claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return. Additionally, the amount you receive will be phased out at higher income levels. If you file as a single taxpayer with income between $75,000 and $80,000, for example, you'll only be eligible for a partial payment. The income requirements are based on your most recent tax filing, either 2019 or 2020 returns. The SSA and VA will reference data from the IRS to determine eligibility. So if your income level was previously quite high but has since dropped due to COVID-related hardship, you could still potentially qualify based on your 2020 tax info. For married couples where only one spouse receives SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, both partners will still receive the full $3,000 payment as long as their joint income meets the requirements. It's also important to understand what qualifies as income under this program. In addition to earnings from employment, income sources that count toward the limits include interest and dividends, rental income, retirement account distributions, unemployment benefits, social security income, and any other forms of taxable income. So even if you didn't have earnings from a job or self-employment income from investments, government benefits and other sources could still push you over the limit. For the tens of millions of SSI and SSDI recipients, the process for actually claiming your $3,000 payment should be very straightforward. Since the Social Security Administration already has all of your relevant data like income details, banking info for direct deposit, etc., they should be able to automatically calculate and deliver your payment in the coming weeks or months. Essentially, if you meet the requirements, the funds will be direct deposited right into your checking account, or you'll get a paper check mailed to your address. Those receiving VA benefits will go through a similar process with the Department of Veterans Affairs handling distribution. As long as your personal details like address, bank accounts, etc. are up to date, it should be a pretty seamless process. The biggest potential hiccup could be for those whose income has changed significantly in recent years. Make sure the SSA and VA have your latest information on file to reflect your current finances and income level. You may need to proactively provide updated tax returns or income documentation if your recent earnings have dropped and would now make you eligible at the lower payment limits. A major question on many beneficiaries' minds is whether they'll have to pay taxes on this $3,000 boost. The good news is that for the vast majority of recipients, these stimulus payments are completely tax-free and will not be counted as part of your gross income. 
That's a big deal considering that extra taxable income could potentially increase what you owe or bump some people into a higher tax bracket. There are, however, a few situations where a portion of your $3,000 payment could potentially be taxable. If the payment amount you receive is based on an annual income level higher than your most recent tax return would indicate, the difference could count as taxable other income. For example, if you got the full $3,000 based on the higher income limits from your 2019 return, but then your 2020 income was significantly lower, the overpayment may be taxable. Those whose income puts them in the phase-out range where they receive a partial payment may owe some tax on that amount. And beneficiaries who had their payments garnished or seized by the IRS or creditors will likely have taxes due on those garnished funds. Outside of those specific scenarios, though, the IRS has clearly stated that stimulus payments like this $3,000 boost are not considered taxable income for almost all recipients. Moving forward, the key will be keeping immaculate records of how much you receive and staying in communication with the SSA or VA if you have any concerns over your income levels from previous tax years. Beyond the core eligibility, payment process, and tax implications we've covered, there are a few other critical points everyone should understand about this $3,000 payment. Unfortunately, these benefits are off limits for those enrolled in additional Medicare premiums like Part B or Part D. The law prohibits reducing those premium benefits via offsets or garnishment, so Social Security recipients can't receive this $3,000 cash infusion. Timing of payments will vary, but the goal is to get money out in the coming four to six weeks. SSA has announced beneficiaries could start seeing deposits hit their accounts in early to mid-April. If you do not have existing banking details on file for direct deposit, your payment will be mailed as a paper check, which could take several weeks longer. Like the previous stimulus payments, this $3,000 boost is technically just an advance credit for 2021 taxes. But for practically all recipients, it will simply be tax-free money you get to keep. Scammers have already started targeting benefit recipients with phishing emails and calls about this payment. Never click any links or provide personal or banking info over the phone. The SSA and VA will handle communications and payments directly, with no third-party involvement required. Receiving this payment will not impact your eligibility for other government assistance programs like food stamps or Section 8 housing. It is not considered income under those rules. For now, these one-time $3,000 payments are all that is planned. If economic conditions don't improve, however, lawmakers could approve additional relief for benefit recipients later in 2022 or 2023. I know that was a ton of information to unpack, but as you can see, this $3,000 payment comes with a decent number of rules, exceptions, and other key details. While the core intent is to get this stimulus money out to struggling Americans as quickly as possible, things are rarely quite that simple. The main takeaways are millions receiving SSI, SSDI, VA benefits are eligible for up to $3,000 per person. Income limits, dependent status, and other criteria determine exact eligibility. Payments are on the way now and should arrive within four to six weeks for most. No tax is due for the majority, but some need to watch income discrepancies. IRS has guidance, but questions remain about fringe scenarios. Overall, this major cash boost can provide vital financial relief during these difficult economic times. But following the latest rules and guidance is crucial to ensure you maximize your payment amount and avoid any unnecessary tax complications. Keep an eye out for direct communications from the Social Security Administration or Department of Veterans Affairs with more personalized information. And of course, trustworthy personal finance resources will continue analyzing details.